Copper is next to move because the Chinese consumers may be coming back. In last December tutorial, we discussed how gold was breaking above this 2000 US dollars and set to move higher, which it did. In April, we anticipate that silver would soon catch up, and it did as well. Now, I believe copper will be next, not just based on the technical, but also on the fundamentals. My name is Kong Hao. My work in this channel is to study behavior science and finance, discover correlation between different markets, and uncover potential opportunities. Before we get into today's subject, please do take some time to read into the disclaimer. And Go is the leader in setting the market trend for most commodities, meaning that as long as Go remain firm, the rest should catch up based on their time and season. And the largest consumer of copper globally is China. And China accounts for around 50% of the world's copper consumption, driven by its vast manufacturing sector, infrastructure projects, and energy transition efforts like including the electric vehicles and renewable energy developments. And now, the time and season should be here for the copper. It should be the next move with the latest stimulus China announcement. And this is what they have announced on the 24th of September. Now, let's discuss the fundamental and we will affirm it with the technical studies. And on this date, 24th September, China announces stimulus program and all these I believe may trigger a revival of its economy again. And these are the five key areas, as we could see here. So in short is cutting borrowings rates for all, retail and corporates, and providing funding for brokers to buy stocks, and allowing companies to borrow money and to buy back their own shares. And these measures may revive the China economy or the stock market as well. And if they succeed, they may start to spend again. And when spending happens, they will start to build again. And copper may or will be in demand again. And how I'm getting ready for this move, just like how we have planned for silver and gold last year and April this year. And let's look at the technical reason. And this is what we're seeing here on the monthly chart. And we can see very clearly that I've drawn this uptrend line, really classic. I cloned this in the parallel. So this will give us a sense of where the general trend for copper will be heading. It's on the way up very slowly, very gradually. But we have to understand that when we look at the monthly chart, it gives us a general idea where the commodity price is heading. But we are going to get into more sensitivity of the market, how I'm going to manage this along the timeline, then I will get into the weekly chart. So as we get a weekly chart, so again, I'm going to apply the same theory, uh, find some significant trough and align them together, parallel it. And I find that there's a case for that. So during this time frame, uh, since about 2023, uh, we saw this movement. And each time I'm mindful that every day, I take every opportunity to buy on dips. And, but of course, not forgetting to take profit as well as it reaches potential top, do also manage a profit. But ultimately, what I'm seeing here is on the top of this bench. And that's not all, but I think along the timeline, the long-term time frame is still on the way up. And something I have to share with you that is very similar to gold last year as we've discussed. And this is what I'm going to switch into the yearly chart. And it's very similar behavior to the goal that we saw. And what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to place a horizontal line across. As I study into the gold price behavior and I saw uh, this around 446 level, $4.46. On this year, it uh, opened here, it closed here, opened here, it closed here. And uh, between all these, it tried to break above, but it can't feel, but it, it's still settled around here. 
it also means that the copper prices or the copper traders are trying to break above this 446 but it failed many times and this is yearly chart where if by end of the year it closed here is very similar to gold last year uh, then there'll be a likely hold there in 2025 and gradually that copper will continue to trend much higher as we could see here on this uh, upward channel uptrend line that we are seeing here and i hope that to hear your comments on what could be the other reasons why or may cause the copper to close above this four dollar forty six cents and continue to trade higher i will include the tutorial uh, videos link below for the gold and silver right before they started trending we cannot perfectly time the market but it is possible to get the market timing right the market are always telling us on their next move stay tuned for my coming tutorial remember to subscribe to my channel join us in our weekly case study and discussion click on my profile icon or description below to find out more feel free to leave any comments below i love to exchange ideas with you on what is about to come really happy that you stay through this tutorial you have many great trading weeks ahead